Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a, a nice quick uh, video for you. It's relating to a little hobby I, pick, I picked up on during um, uh, super cleaning the house and staying super clean during um, during lockdown. So um, the hobby I have kind of been somewhat preoccupying myself with is uh, gem wrapping and transforming pieces old pieces and bl bland plain pieces into some somewhat uh, well glamorous and I'll show you the uh, first piece which is um, the big one of all of them and it's a uh, rose quartz and this is how I decided to wrap things. The reason why I don't record me making them is because I seem to, I realise I seem to just um, doddle about with things gently, like, like you know, like um, a child. And it doesn't come off as professional, but I, if at the end I do sort of come up with a decent wrap, but it's like... Um, like but it, it seems somewhat little tedious um and then also these this was from these pieces one piece broke from an earring and what i did is and uh this i didn't wasn't keen on it was a leather strap around the heart and it was a bit too big and bulky for my liking so as you can see i also been transforming pieces into it and with a little piece of lace you can get some really nice uh, leather and straps and um, uh, uh, velvet laces and plain laces uh, from eBay and that's a really nice one I decided to make and then add it on a little charm then this was a uh, an object I picked up from outside I sometimes I like chunky funky pieces of jewelry and I just like I like uh, the odd platform shoe so you know if I wear a bit of goth rock type of clothing which I do have also I kind of like to funk the look up with somewhat good pieces and uh, this is a gem this is not it's a fake it's um it's a cleric um and it gave me major witch doctor vibes you know where people put these through their noses and stuff and i thought it was <laughs> kind of cool how it came out um then i wrapped up this was a bit of a struggle uh, i wrapped up uh, an amethyst in uh, a ring and I then uh, kind of hammered a, a little piece of that one and hooked it all around because um, it is a chunky piece also and it came out fairly wearable you know if you're into like the kind of vintage look I kind of am sometimes I like to go for the classic or sometimes Victorian and sometimes you know modern and then I also wrapped up this um, agate and kind of, as you can see all around, um, and just put a little charm on it. And I can come out first. Ah, these were a pair of earrings that I did not like. I didn't even wear them once so I decided to glue them both together and sort of use it as a nice goth gothic kind of rock chick looking kind of piece I know it's plastic but it does look really nice I like the design it's really nice and I quite like it wearable with a um, I like to wear a choker and then something long so yeah kind of and pull it off and then I did wrap this up just 
in waiting to receive the kit and then I did and then I just kind of amped it up a little it's turned into a nice it's an amethyst and I turned it into a winter themed necklace with a charm on it it's really nice and you can't even tell that it was broken because I kind of nail polished over it and did some you can also make your own little uh, polishing designs you know just how you know just and I don't know how some just creative I just needed to get my creative, uh, creative urges in action um, and then these were a pair of earrings um, there's another piece of this um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it no this wasn't I mean these two were yeah so what I did is the earring broke so I turned it into a nice Christmas necklace also and then I turned this gem also into a little bit of a lucky charm and wrapped it I think it's really nice and then I also this is a gem in a these were just um, little pieces off of um, clothing you know the, the 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 flower at the back of it and the gem is from a bracelet that snapped and it's it, apparently this is a the most powerful healing gem um i've studied gem gemology with being a beautician it's, you use the gems to it's crystal, crystal healing part, it was a christian healing part as well in the module um and this is the most the, the orange one it is actually the most powerful of all gems so i wanted to wrap this up and gave it a bit more power with that flower at the back of it so pow pow eh? healthy healthy us healthy me yeah and then also this oxygen i like this up also i just have them lying around i'm like it was i was just going through clearing i think i said they're just like stones lying around there's no use then I just, I don't know, luckily on a, I just came across somebody wearing a wrapped gem and they talked about gem wrapping and I'm like, oh my God, that's an absolutely amazing idea. No, actually, I, I did, I always was in the frame of, this is a, um, a spiral thingy I got it from I mentioned it in um, from a shop and I've had it look charm in it and I've put the gem I bought the gem and put it inside so there's the little bead that's like a nice look charm and then I wrap this one up and this is my favorite by far all of them uh, bear in mind I did start off with very fine gauge and so I had to put quite a lot of wrap it around it and then glue it also and I've glued this because it kept on you know you can you can kind of it's my favorite I like to wear this quite a lot and then I found out this love heart item isn't exactly a love heart it's a tiger's eye and I think it's extremely rare and then also I've put um a jade gem in the middle with a lucky charm dangling from it and I hope it brings me luck in finding a job possibly getting sponsored by someone where I can get a fixed paid income and get off job seekers um, then this this was like um you know something you put in pop puree kind of thing um why is my camera foggy anyway it will have to do um and what i did is first i i glued a little um t a chinese talisman at the back but it fell off so i'm like oh that's a bummer then i just had to re 
redesign it with a, a different concept and I think this is really nice because this was just and it's a love heart even though it's quite heavy I'm thinking should I should not I don't know um, but you never know it might just all of a sudden be a perfect match for something I might buy from the charity shop and boom it just probably believe it or not it will probably bounce off it that's how I realize things that I don't really like end up actually I end up wearing them and this is a oh um I, I don't know what the gem name is but it's 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 a it's a rare one as well and that's with a look came with a lucky charm so they look like proper diamonds but they're not um and I wrapped that up also turned it into a necklace and then i also turned this was it's an oxy gem as well an oxy heart it's black but i painted it and nail polished it in um, maroon because i like the color maroon um and then i glued a little look charm thingy rose in the middle and wrapped it up and turned it into a nice little kind of romantic kind of fairly nice necklace turn it into a necklace um, and then this piece, a uh, broken key I had, and what I did is I wrapped a rose, um, a, a clear quartz within the key. I, it was a very very old key, and I painted it gold, and then put also a little bead, which apparently is supposed to be like a look charm. And I've turned that into a nice necklace. Also, so you know you, you can be really creative with the rubbishest things and just turn them into really kind of somewhat casual wearing pieces. And that's a blue, um, a blue quartz. Um, it, it's not my favourite. It's kind of um, I don't know. It still looks quite basic. But it's just it, it could uh, with a nice fine cord, um, a leather cord, and yeah, it could look nice. A lot of people are into dainty pieces. I mean, I'm into dainty pieces, but it just you know to each your own, you know. But I like the way it all wrapped up. I like uh, it's it's nicely wrapped and it's fairly decent. And this was a um, a clear. Uh, a, a clear quartz and um, it got nail red nail varnish got spilled on it and it, it just looked a bit kind of um, rough basically it was a rough looking rose quartz because I have had it for like I can't even remember so I polished it blue and wrapped it up and this is a favorite piece now and I, I could have put a lucky charm on it, but I, this was made during the beginning of what I was doing. And I like it. And lastly, um, I made this. And this is one of those uh, silvery type shiny looking gems. Uh, I And I put a lucky charm on it and turned it into... This was from a Avon perfume bottle, a hook, and it had a charm on it. So I'm like, um, I'm just going to hook it onto the gem, wrap it up, and turn it into a nice, nice wearing casual piece. And that is all I've been up to. That is kind of video video recordingly acceptable um i've also um found a link um that i'm gonna leave below that sells um you know high-end brands where people go and spend 80 quid to buy a hugo boss or creed aftershaves or expensive perfumes like mademoiselle and, and all those um high-end um like alien and you know all those high-end perfumes where 
I think because of um, lockdown and stuff, they are literally 80% off. So I'm going to leave the link uh, below in the description box. And trust me, I I'm not I'm not here to mislead you or con you or in any way other than you can't go wrong. It's 80% off and I'm saving up. I'm saving up now. I'm going to get five of them. So I'll be paying, hang on, uh, 22, 4, 6, 8. I'll be getting, instead of getting one bottle for 80 quid, I'm going to get four. And that's what I'm planning on uh, doing and buying. Um, so also, why don't you go and take advantage of uh, the link that I'm going to leave below this video. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.